Hello everybody, this is Terry Nance. I want to welcome you to 8 Minutes Strong with the Armor Bear. Trust you're having a blessed day and you know it's something good. It's going to happen to you today. I want you to say that. Something good is going to happen to me today. This is a day God made, and we're going to rejoice in it. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, his name is to be praised. So you start praising God today and let victory fill your soul. You know, uh, if you're enjoying these broadcasts, be sure, do me a favor, subscribe to it, and then also send these to everyone that you know, send the link to them so that they can become a part of it. My heart is to encourage and build up the local church. Everything in my life is about the ministering to the local church and the pastors and the leaders. And these pastors and leaders have come through a very difficult time coming out of COVID and all the stuff that's happening around in the world, inflation and everything else. And it is time for God to raise up a new just a new breed of armor bearers, a new generation of armor bearers who are there to carry their, their pastor's spirit, to, to help, to encourage, lift up their arms. And so I just pray this, just this anointing imparts into your life. There's an, there's an armor bearer awakening taking place. A year ago, God began to speak to my heart about this. I am a, a licensed life coach and mentor and I'm, I'm just taking the time and I'm making myself available to people. And if you're in ministry and you're in the local church, I'd love to just begin to speak into your life in any way that I possibly could. You can go to my website, godsarmorbearer.com. You can get all the information. I've been talking about the test of the armor bear. And here is a test. It's a test of excellence. And the test of excellence is that what you do, you do it as unto the Lord. Now, it always starts. I mean, in the beginning of ministry and you're excited about doing something in the local church, you're excited about uh, helping your leadership and all, but then uh, what happens, weeks turn into months, months turn into years. And can you persevere and can you continue to do uh, the best that you can when, you know what, difficulties or when uh, you're, you're seeing situations in the church or now here we go, you get offended. And you know what, every one of us can be offended. Every one of us can be hurt. But the, the way you, the, the way you deal with it, 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 that's a test of your character. Okay. What are you going to do? Are you just going to do a sloppy job now because, uh, you don't think you're getting the recognition you need, or maybe you were rebuked or corrected for something? So how are you going to respond? Well, God's looking at your heart. Are you doing it for the church? Or are you doing it for Jesus? There you go. Cause Jesus hadn't offended you. Jesus loves you. And people are always going to fail you. You have to understand no one's perfect. And as an armor bearer, you have to understand the human side of your pastor and your leaders. They have good days, bad days, they have challenging days. And uh, yes, they're doing everything they can to keep themselves in the spirit of the Lord and the joy of the Lord. Sometimes there's a fight and they, they have to deal with uh, their families. They have to deal with things at the church. They've got so much going on and they're dealing with the feelings and emotions of people. It's not easy to be a pastor and a leader. Believe me, if it was, everybody would be doing it. But as an armor bearer, you're there, you're called by God. You're called by Jesus. So you're not just serving your pastor. You're serving the Lord. And when you know that you're serving Jesus, you have to ask yourself the question, okay, what, what would, if Jesus was my pastor, how would I serve him? Would it make any difference? I mean, you would be there. You would serve. You would help. You would do whatever you could. And you have to understand the apostles were, they were armor bearers. That's how they started. They didn't start in the apostolic ministry. They were armor bearers. They, they prepared food for the people. They prepared, uh, the, I mean, the, the meals. They prepared everywhere Jesus went. They were ahead of him taking care of all the tasks that needed to be done for him to arrive. They were armor bearers. And that's what you are. You're carrying that spirit. And even Jesus couldn't have done it by himself. You think Jesus could have handed out 
uh, to about 15,000 people, the bread, the fish. No, he couldn't have done that. Uh, there's no way he could have done it. He's in a physical body and he, he had to operate as a man. So what? It was the apostles who did it. Uh, it was the armor bearers that he put around him and they did what he asked them to do. And believe me, they did it with excellence. And so this is what you have to see. If Jesus asked you, these are the questions. If Jesus asked you to clean the church bathrooms, how clean would they be? If Jesus asked you, pray for your church, how fervently would you pray? You know, excellence, I want you to remember this. Excellence comes by placing demands on yourself. You have to demand of yourself excellence. You have to, you have to make sure that whatever department you're at, that you're there on time and it is done. It is clean. It is beautiful. It is done for the Lord. And when it's done for the Lord, it's done right. Second Timothy, Paul said this to Timothy. He said, be diligent to present yourself approved to God. That's the first thing. Make sure you're proving yourself to God. You're approved by God. That You know that you did the very best. And he said, a worker who doesn't need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. God doesn't want you to be ashamed of anything that you do. Knowing the word of God is extremely important, but you are to present yourself approved. You present whatever your work is. You present it approved as unto the Lord. Excellence comes by purposing in your heart to do what the word said. Whatever God's word says, you do it with excellence. The Bible says this about Daniel, Daniel 6, 3, then Daniel distinguished himself above the governors because of an excellent spirit that was in him. And when you think about it, uh, what Daniel did, he did not eat the king's meat. Everything was in the very beginning. Everything in Daniel's life started when he was young. And, but it doesn't make any difference what how, what age you are, God wants to use you in these last days. And it's going to, you're going to, you're going to do it with what is at your hand to do. <laughs> you do it unto the Lord. You give your best. You give everything you've got. And because of Daniel and because of what he, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did by not dishonoring the law that they knew certain things they weren't supposed to eat. They did that. That was a simple thing. It was just a diet thing. And they did it and God honored them. And you see them throughout Babylon, just God, just raising them up. God's raising you up. Oh, oh, I feel it by the Holy Spirit. The Lord is strengthening you right now. God is encouraging you. I mean, whatever you do, you do it now. You do it fast. You do it good. You do it as a blessing. You bless your church. You bless your pastor. Let the spirit and the blessing of God come all over you today. God bless you. Ah, I tell you, something good is going to happen for you today. <laughs>